Okay, let's jump into how to import and edit objects with model port and kind of give you a sort of an overview of that. So let's first start with sort of the defaults in ARCHICAD for importing uh, objects and it defaults in model port for importing objects. So on the uh, left here, you can see the ARCHICAD defaults. So Archie has, you know, some basic defaults here for importing different object uh, uh, model components such as DXF, IFC, uh, SketchUp, Rhino, Collada, uh, DAE, Stellography, <laughs> and of course uh, RFA and IFC. Um, now those are all available. Now if we go to the the um, right hand side here, we see the defaults, and you can see there's a lot of additional defaults in model port that are not available within the um, uh, ARCHICAD uh, uh, standards. And there's a 10 additional import formats here um, in addition to all the other advantages we're gonna talk about today. And you can also use uh, model port to not only import these other objects, but also import art directly from ARCHICAD. So a good example, let's say for um, in model port, we don't have the ability to import an RFA or a Revit object directly into model port. But what we can do is we can import a object that you've already imported through model, through ARCHICAD's uh, process. So let's say you wanted to go out, um, you're gonna import an RFA object here. So you're gonna go find that object that you downloaded from manufacturer. And you're gonna bring that directly into model port. I'm sorry, into ARCHICAD. And so you're gonna go through the standard process where that gets placed in. And of course it gets placed in, but there is a problem here. That model was saved so that it was at a different angle or you know different material or whatever it is that is not quite right. So you wanna be able to edit that. And maybe you don't have those editing capabilities within that uh, RBT uh, import. So now you're, you're kind of trying to figure out what to do. Well, if I were, if I had model port, I could select that object that I imported. And now I select the um, import from ARCHICAD option. And now what that's going to do is that's going to import that directly into model port. And we can see that that's vertical. It should be actually laying down horizontal. So we'll just flip that. And now we just simply create that object. And now that becomes part of our library. So this is a very simple example. But the idea here is that you can bring anything in that you can bring an ARCHICAD into model port. So that really opens up any other um, uh, formats that you may not be available within uh, model port or elements, and this is important too, so morphs um, or any elements, walls, whatever, that you wanna combine and bring that into model port to create an object uh, that you would then use further. Now, one of the real big benefits to model port is the ability to be able to preview objects before you import. So if you're like me, you download a bunch of objects from a manufacturer or a website, and now you wanna uh, look at those objects but you have to open each object and then they are imported in, and that takes time. And then they're, uh, they're uh, imported into your embedded library. And now you've got thousands, maybe thousands, but hundreds and hundreds of, of objects you've imported. You know, you gotta, you gotta go through those, right? And figure out which ones you need to delete, which ones you're gonna keep, et cetera. With model port, we can actually import that object and preview it in this preview window before we import it into uh, ARCHICAD. And so that really helps us to one, know whether we want to import this in, and two, even begin to edit this before we even import it. And then we just simply click that, click that create button up there in the right hand corner, left hand corner, excuse me. And then that uh, creates the object and brings it into ARCHICAD. Now, another uh, useful part of model port is the ability to edit by both object or material. So what I mean by that, if you'll look up here in the upper, left corner of model port, you'll see that little pop up there. It says object and I set the object selection mode and that's that little blue cube button. If we click that, it allows us to start selecting elements by object types, so like the interior of this car, for example, or the body of the car, the glass of the car, or we can interactively select it in the 3D window where we can select the wheels individually, okay, as elements to edit. Now, if you want to select it by material, then you click the other button just to the right of the object button and now we're able to set the material selection mode now how is that different well now we're going to select it by for example we want to we want to select the interior dark uh, or the interior or the screen color or maybe we're going to go to the wheels we want to do the uh, or the body first 
Maybe we want to do the interior of the wheel, the actual structure of the wheel, or we want to do the wheel, the tire, you know. So this allows us to go in and select it depending upon what we want to do by material or object, and it just gives us much more flexibility and much more control. Now, once we've selected those elements, we can then change their color, their texture, and other attributes as well. So as a good example, you know, here we have this uh, um, table or, or, or um, uh, um, uh, piece of furniture that we brought in, right? And so we want to be able to edit. It maybe it's a little too dark here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to select that part of the furniture. And we're going to add a texture to it. So here's a really nice thing. I don't have to have, uh, if it does not have a texture, I can at any point in time add or change the texture after it's come into Monoport really quickly and really easily. I can also access directly the Archicad uh, material library here, where if I just want to go and select and use a material directly from Archicad, I can do that as well. Uh, so it gives me the ability to both bring in uh, textures that I might want to use interactively in a model port, uh, as well as to access my standard Archicad material and services library that I'm using within my project. Now, another important aspect to any uh, importing any object uh, that oftentimes you don't have the flexibility on is the ability to, to define the pin weight, the pin color, um, and even fill backgrounds for 2D symbols. So and this is a good example. Here is a uh, oven, right? It's come into model port. And what we want to be able to do is to change the color, which of course will change the line weight of different parts of the stove. So by selecting the stove, we can then select within the, our preview window, uh, the stove, stove that we want to maybe make the outside edge black, a darker color perhaps. We want to make the inside uh, edge of it, the um, stove itself, top, a uh, different color with a different line weight. And, and then uh, the knobs also as a different line weight. When we update that, you'll see that it has updated the 3D view uh, in the bottom left. And it's also updated my, um, my plan view as well. And that's the whole point here. We have the ability now to interactively click on individual aspects of the object in the different 3D windows that we have here and be able to edit those elements. It also allows us to control material properties. So here's a really good example. We brought this, um, this couch in. And the couch looks pretty good, except for one problem. It looks like the sofa uh, there, the, the, the actual um, uh, cushion, is a little too bright. Probably shouldn't, for fabric, have that kind of uh, brightness uh, for that edge as creating some light issues when it bounces off of that. So what we can do, we can select that. <clears throat> And then right here under material, we can change the diffuse uh, uh, amount. So we can reduce that percent uh, and we can reduce the ambient light, reduce the specular, maybe we need to uh, increase the um, shininess, uh, et cetera. So by reducing and changing those very quickly, we can change that. We can also go to the Archicad materials and we could just automatically select one from there if we wanted to set one to a specific type of material that was in our, our uh, surface catalog that we have in our template. So this gives us the ability on the fly to be able to interactively work with and change not only the materials, but also even get into working and, 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 and um, editing, customizing texture, transparency, ambient, diffuse, shininess, and specular. Again, as well as being able to access both the internal model port properties and the Archicad materials as well. Now, another problem we often see uh, is when you download an object, particularly from things like um, uh, user content, like the 3D warehouse or, or uh, others that, you know, users have posted, right? They'll post the objects and then they may post um, elements within that object that they forgot to turn off, right? Um, and so you download this object, think, oh, it's going to be this nice light. It looks great. I'm going to download that. Um, and I open it up and it's got a rendering inside of it. And, you know, then you're like, how do I edit this? How do I change this? So within Monoport, what I can do is I can go into this uh, the 3D, uh, the preview window here. I can select that image. And I can either delete it or I can turn it off. So I have the ability with those eyes to turn off uh, temporarily if I want, or I can also just delete it if I don't want it. 
And so that really helps, right? So now I've been able to get this to what I want it to look like. And then in the, 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 the preview window over there, um, well, I can update first the uh, plan view by clicking the update button. And then I'll go to the preview window over here and I'll update the preview image as well. Now that preview image is what you will see, and, you'll, and I'll show you this in a second, but it's what you'll see in the uh, object settings dialog when you open that up and you're selecting objects. So you know if you bring in uh, uh, an, Arch an object into Archicad from SketchUp or any other source, it comes up and it does not have a preview to it. Monoport gives you a preview automatically and you can update that preview uh, as well at any point in time. <clears throat> now one of the other advantages to um, uh, the preview window here is its ability as, to be interactive, not just for editing, um, I mean, turning off elements, uh, deleting elements, changing color, but also for changing scale. So as you'll see with this lamp here, there are some dimensions there that are really quite off. I think it's like 36 feet by you know, 14 feet, which I think is a little large for this particular lamp, right? So whoever drew this uh, and modeled it, uh, obviously modeled it the wrong size. So we can actually go in here now and we can click one of those. So we can click the height, we can click the width, we can click um, the depth. And when we click that, it just automatically opens up a dialog here for me just to very easily type in the uh, rescale. And so I then fit to window, click a little button there. Uh, we have now resized that really quickly, really easily. Uh, now it makes more sense uh, in terms of that sizing uh, for both the width, the height, and the depth of that object. But this is what you'll find within Monoport and what we're doing more and more uh, with the uh, preview window is we're adding the ability to uh, for you to interactively edit elements, interactively edit uh, um, content and other, other elements within that, which I think will really help to um, help your process. Now, once you have edited an element and you clicked uh, import, you know, to create that element, element and you place it in ArchiCAD, you probably at points in time are going to want to re-edit that element. And here's how you do it. There's two ways of doing that. One is you zoom to the element, you select it, and you'll see a little uh, pop-up uh, dialog that comes up there uh, called MP. You can kind of see there right next to the arrow. And when you click the MP button here, it's going to open up that model port uh, uh, dialog here uh, where you can now edit and preview that element. So that's, this, that's how it works with a model port. It's meant to be an interactive process. So once you've imported and placed that object, you can continue editing it. And anytime you select an element that was created and imported by Modelport, you'll see an MP palette by it. If it's not an object uh, from Modelport, it's just a standard Archicad object or some other object, uh, you will not see the MP. And that's how it differentiates Modelport objects from other objects. <clears throat> Additionally, whenever you open the object settings of an object, you'll see uh, in one of the panels at the bottom is called Monoport. And if you open that up, there's a button that says Open and Monoport Editor. And you just click that, it'll go right into the editor you, you just saw. That's another really easy way of doing it. If you are going through your library and you find an object that you had imported earlier, and maybe you haven't placed it into the project yet, um, you can open the Monoport Editor, edit it, and then place it. 